In today's session, we will try to understand virtual machine in detail. Let's see in this session the use cases of VM, what are the sizes of VM family and pricing of VM. Use cases of VM. VMs can be used in development and testing phase application in cloud if we have some application which we need to run on a cloud for testing purpose or for the production we can use the VM in cloud and for the extended data center we have our in-house data center and we need to expand it further instead of spending money on it we could use extended data center in cloud in Azure so we save the cost Azure actually provides a lot of facilities. It provides us a fully set operating system and with whatever applications we need, we can choose which we can create in the cloud and can be used for testing purpose. VM family. VM family is categorized in the below options. One is for the general purpose, compute optimized, memory optimized, storage optimized, GPU optimized and HPC optimized. General purpose. For general purpose scenario, we use a balanced CPU to memory ratio. These are low cost and ideal for testing and development from small to medium databases and when there is no much traffic for the web services. For these purpose, we can use the general purpose. Compute optimized. For compute optimized, if you go for the compute optimized, it will have high CPU to memory ratio. Good for medium traffic web servers. If you are having a firewall, if we are trying to run a script files or a batch process, and if you have an application server, we could prefer this high CPU to memory ratio option. Memory optimized. In this option, we will have high memory to CPU ratio. Certain applications will require more memory. Like accessing the web server, uh, frequent accessing the web server, there will be a cache stored in the memory. So in order to have a speed a speedy access to the web server, we choose the option for the high memory, with high memory to CPU ratio storage optimized it will have high disk throughput and IO the writing speed to the hard disk will be faster which is ideal for when we have big data or we use the services for SQL Oracle etc GPU GPU is a graph processing unit used for heavy graphics we use it for the videos, heavy videos, for 3D games, deep learning, or any other 3D applications which is required for the company. Deep learning is a concept of data source, micromanagement of data. HPC, high performance computer, which is the one of the most powerful CPU available. It will have and optional if needed we can use a high throughput NIC card now we will see the VM pricing there are three types of pricings one is on demand reservation spot instance on on demand we don't have any commitment with Azure we just pay for what we use and this will be invoiced monthly there is no upfront cost and when compared to the other models it will be costly if for short instances if a project is for two or three months on-demand option is preferred but if a project is running for more than one year or two years this will become very high expensive even though we don't pay any upfront cost on this reservation reservation is an option where Microsoft Azure provides us a VM 
where we get into a contract for one year, three year or five years. This is comparatively less than on demand. But we need to provide them a commitment or a contract with Microsoft that we will be using this VM for a specific period of time. There will be upfront cost or partial upfront cost which we have to discuss with the Microsoft technician. Spot instances. Microsoft gives us a model which offers Azure compute capacity almost 90% of saying as a cost of pay of pay as you go. This can be used in a scenario where we don't have any urgency or any critical information or data. We could use the spot instances. This will be stored in Azure's excess compute capacity. If the storage is available in Azure's, uh, then we could utilize this for testing purpose which will reduce our cost. There will be no SLA for spot VMs. The, the company will not get any support from the Microsoft if suppose the VM is terminated. In short notice they can terminate the VM what we are using. Only choose this option for testing purpose and where we can afford a service interruption. The price of spot VMs fluctuates based on the demand and availability. When you try to create, if you try to create pay as you go, click on virtual machine. Here you can see spot instance. Spot instance or if you have to reserve a VA machine you can either uh, click on if you already have a reservation machine you can click on view this will be displayed here if you don't have a VM for reservation then you need to purchase it click on it select the duration or the options what you need In order to create a CAVM family, click on virtual machine, click the see all sizes. Here you can filter it, selecting the family. You can choose this multiple option, which we have mentioned here, general purpose, GPU, high performance, compute optimized, memory optimized and storage optimized. So if you choose computer optimized, it will show us the options with computer optimized with two CPUs, 4 GB RAM if you choose high performance computer accordingly the size changes When you switch to general purpose, it provides you the option with whatever less cost. <laughs>